the tones, uh, switching to a tilted antenna that will be used through entry. Thirty seconds to entry. As we come up on entry, uh, we'll expect a two to three second outage in the X-band signal as we switch from the PLGA to the TLGA. We're switching the TLGA. Signal's dropped, and it's. We just saw the signal drop. Then, in case we change antennas. We're seeing heartbeat tones again after the switch. Things are looking good. Uh, yeah, tones back again. Coming up on the tree. Vehicle reports entry interface. At this time, it will begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back to heartbeat tones. We are standing by for guided start and start of guided entry. <laughs> now can see the engine atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle is just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is beginning to steer its way to the target. That is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight GDSA. GDSA flight go. We are processing data from Odyssey. Bank reversal two is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. Bank right. reversal two complete. <laughs> Copy bank reversal two complete. Thanks. Uh, Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there increases go. to Universal respectable level. There we go. We are now seeing and we have RTDP. Is... Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. The adventure and heading alignment. There it goes. At this time, curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air use minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the error and we should be heading for the target. Fly EDL, the TDS warning is okay. Happy? Power and on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the MEPI instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> Sequels reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignment. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continue to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. 
the predicted mid downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL Ops, Odyssey Systems on EDL Ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. <laughs> Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Oh. Risk mode under our parachute. Our tank is and, and descending. We are at 150 meters per second. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, risk mode dynamics. This mode is nominal. We are nine kilometers and descending. Valid range. Net filter converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. Now to the eight kilometers. Feet shield step has separated. We've found the ground. Expand tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're standing by to prime the MLE engines in preparation for power flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers and descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweeta warnings. It is in battle forward mode, so it should power through them. Director of Communications at this time, we may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers and descending. We have lost act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters. Vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. We are priming power to start enabled. Standing by for batch cell separation. Signal Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. We're at an altitude of one kilometer descending, about 70 meters per second. Signal to us, you remain down to 50 meters per second, 500 meters in altitude. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity accordion nominal, altitude error 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. Tingle to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you do a calm configure. Rhythm is stable. Rhythm is stable. Oh, UHF is good. <laughs> Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on live. <laughs> Curiosity. We're safe. Getting down from the surface of Mars. 